Hello YouTube. This is my last and final uh, video on um, voiceover IP uh, technologies of hooking your ham radio to the internet. These are the deep down dark dirty secrets that your mama didn't tell you about. You know, if your daddy was a ham operator, your mama didn't tell you about it because she didn't like him either. In part six, we want to talk a little bit about uh, Echolink. And Echolink is not mysterious. A lot of people in the ham radio world, they like it because they can understand it because it's written with windows. All the other ones seem to be written with uh, Linux. So the average ham operator, you know, who's got the kindergarten mentality and the first grade education, they don't understand uh, that there's more than one operating system other than the Windows. So it, this is part six of a series of videos. And... Uh, so if you just click on uh, echolink.org and it tells you that you have to be validated that you have to uh, send them a copy of your amateur radio license you know the one that you got in the mail <laughs> from the FCC and they have to validate you and before you can even download the Windows software you gotta love it. You gotta love this Echo Link. So, the interfaces that are used, uh, I'm looking on uh, echolink.org, and it seems to be hardware specific that whatever type of radio you have, um, there's various ways, you know, that you can uh, hook your. Uh, $1,500 rig to, to the internet and most of them appear to be by USB but what I like is there's this USB uh, Echo Link adapter that you can purchase but it's still it's uh, hardware specific because you need a specific cable for whatever type of radio you're using there's an adapter for Kenwood, Icom, Yesu, Alinko, Baofeng and Wuxan. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, but this particular interface is $69. Let me say that again if you didn't understand what I said. 69 US dollars and you can connect your $1500 radio to the internet. Now, if you're new, like myself, a uh, newbie, which is new to ham radio, you know, stick to social media. <laughs> I got over 4,000 Facebook friends. And I haven't went to breakfast with not one single one of my Facebook friends. And guess what? It don't cost me a dollar. Now, I might have to pay for internet access, but it don't cost me a single dime. So what is the purpose of it? The cell phone has totally replaced ham radio. The thing about uh, uh, Echolink is none of these brilliant minds even know how it works or understand it. You almost have to have a degree in to, uh, computer science to understand voice over IP. You know. So what is the purpose of ham radio? Well, it had a purpose in the past, but this is 2015. Things have changed. The cell phone has replaced this. You know.
Get yourself a mobile device. Connect to the world through social media. Ham radio is dead. So why should I go out and, and spend my money on these interfaces, you know, just to talk to somebody else on the Internet? I can do that on Skype. <laughs> you can do that on Skype. So this is the last of, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, voice over IP and connecting your... Uh, your $1,500 radio to the internet. I don't want to give any props to the creators of Echo Link because, again, I don't want to put them on blast. But one thing I do like about Echo Link is you can go to the Google Play Store and download it and put it on your Android device. And you can connect to the world, the ham radio world, that way through your Android smartphone. So to the newbie, find yourself another hobby. Ham radio is not a hobby. It's not even a way of life. Stick with social media. Stick with Instagram. Google Plus. Facebook. Twitter. It's much more exciting. There's nobody on ham radio. Maybe on the weekends, you can dial up and and uh, these same people that's been on there for the last 50 years, a bunch of old farts that's been on there since the 60s. They don't even understand Echo Link. So if you knew, don't pick ham radio. And when you post your negative comments, put them in, put your call signs in bold letters. I like to see that. I love negative, com negative comments. So I can come back with another video and put you on blast. Put them in bold letters so I can show the world the mentality of the average ham radio operator. And if you don't like this video or none of my other videos, 73 to you too.